Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell. Thanks for watching. I hope a lot of people watch it, although it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> anyway, you know, this year I traveled a lot. I was working in Memphis and I went to a lot of different cities that I'd never been to before. And the one thing that kind of helped to keep me going throughout the entire year was being able to watch different YouTube channels. And I enjoyed a whole lot of things this year. There were some things that I liked at one point and then later on didn't like. But there are some things that just truly kept me engaged for the entire year. So tonight's video is going to be the top 15 either YouTube channels or YouTube personalities that I watched in 2014 that kept me entertained and uh, you know taught me stuff and that I just thoroughly enjoyed. Now I'm not going to link to them in the video. Instead, I'm gonna put their names again down below along with links to their channel so that you know if you feel like checking any of these folks out, you can. But these folks really did it for me and I so appreciate uh, being able to just mention something about these folks and you know, We'll see where this goes. The first person I'm going to mention turns out to be probably the, uh, if not the top YouTube video person in the country. Um, one of the top people. Her name is Grace Helbig. And she actually won the Webby this year for Best YouTube Personality, which is why I'm thinking she's the best. And she released a book and she did a movie. And she got an irreverent channel. I mean, you never really know what's going to come out of her mouth. She's a trained uh, comedian. Um, she, you know, college graduate, and she's not even 30, and she's done all these things. And, you know, she's just been on these different TV shows. She's traveled around the country doing live shows. She did um, a series this year where she went with someone else um, to different cities, and they actually had kind of a video, um, a travel log, and <laughs> just amazing energy. My goodness, I wish I had some of that energy. But then again, you know, if I can knock 25 years off, I just might. But Grace Helbig is number one on my list, and I'm sure there's a lot of people, if you watch this, who are going to say, oh, yeah, of course Grace is on the list. Second is a site that's called Thug Notes. Now, it's moved over to another site called Wisecrack, but I discovered Thug Notes through someone else who posted something on Twitter. And what this is, this is a guy, he calls himself, um, oh, my God. Shaggy Sweeps or something like that. I can't really remember. But what he does is he gives kind of a hip-hop version of book reviews on old-type literature. So he's done Dracula, and he's done Fahrenheit 451. He does a lot of uh, Shakespeare stuff. It's, it's funny stuff, and yet it's, it's interesting, his take on what these things are all about. He doesn't just break down the story. That's usually the first half of the video, and then the second half of the video... He gets into all the really deep stuff, and it's it's great stuff. It is just a different way of looking at literature, um, and so I really enjoyed that a lot. Number three on my list is The Moth. The Moth happens to be a channel where they highlight stories. I don't really know everything about The Moth, but what it looks like is that they go to different locations in New York City, and they set up the mic and different people get to go up and tell stories based on a theme of the night. And I discovered this thing and I have just really enjoyed hearing people tell their stories. I've always said I think that people enjoy hearing other people tell stories and some of these are really heartfelt stories and some of them are very touching and you know might make you want to cry. I never cried, but they might make you want to cry and it's just unbelievable stuff. So I love the moth. Number four on my list, called Epic Mealtime. These guys are crazy. These guys are from Canada. And what they do is they make this these, these foods that you, you just can't believe that they're making. And I don't mean just good foods. What they do is they, they have their take on it. They're super huge foods. I mean, you know, these are not foods that you could basically cook for yourself and sit home and basically eat a meal and maybe wrap up leftovers. No. Uh, <laughs> these guys make monstrosities. But it's great seeing them make these things. Um, and then at the end of the videos, you see them eating as much of it as they can because let's face the fact, there's just no way anyone could ever eat all these things. And when I link below, I'm actually going to link to one of their foods instead of the main channels just so you can see how one of these things go. Number five on my list, a guy named Andre, and he does a site called Black Nerd Comedy. And I got to tell you the truth, 
Last year, when I first heard about him, I was a little disturbed. I'll admit that. You know, black nerd comedy. I You have to kind of appreciate that a guy can actually laugh at himself. And as I got into watching his channel, and I'll tell you the truth, I don't watch everything because I'm not a gamer, and so I can't get into the, you know, Sonic or any of these other kind of games. But he talks about older TV shows and older cartoons, and actually some of them I know. Some of them I don't, but he kind of puts a fascinating bit on it. And he will do uh, certain skits here and there with someone else I'm going to mention later on on the list. And he's just a funny guy. And he's associated with Lamar Wilson, who I actually highlighted in a video last year. And I just pretty much enjoyed him. Uh, one of the coolest things he did was he went to one of the comic book things this year. And he met up with, uh, um, oh my God, Vanilla Ice. And he performed a Vanilla Ice song that Vanilla Ice did in one of the Turtles movies. One of the, <laughs> it was just, I, I just watched this guy doing this and it just made me laugh. So congrats to, you know, Andre Black Nerd Comedy. Next on the list uh, a site called Dame Drops, and this guy's name is Damon, and this was referred to me by someone I met on YouTube, of all things. And what he does is he goes basically to fast food places, and he samples foods, and then he talks about them, and he does it in his car. And he's just got this flair and this drama about him that is just so funny. And this is a big guy. This guy's like 6'5", and he's got really big hands and whatever. And when he bites into these foods, you know, talk about a man-sized bite. I don't think I've ever bitten anything like that, but it's just fascinating watching him. And I got to tell you, it's funnier when he hates stuff. Uh, but I love to watch this guy. And this is another young guy who basically has found his niche. So he's got other people who do different types of food reviews. He's got a guy who does snacks. He has a guy who does healthy foods. He's just added someone else to the site recently. It's amazing stuff. And he's a lot of fun. And he worked his way into a TV show this year for Food Network. So way to go. Next uh, channel is a site called All Time Tens. And basically what this channel does is it finds a subject and it talks about 10 things you don't know uh, about these things. So this year they did The Simpsons, they did Murderers, they did uh, Ways That the World Almost Died. <laughs> I mean, you know, all kinds of stuff. And lately in their videos, they've actually taken to, you know, basically doing these short, you know, three minute videos. And then they basically come out and say, thank you for this. We hope you watch this. Let us know what you think. So that's a little bit different. But I love watching, you know, their take on it. These are, these are you know, British guys. Next on my list, young lady named Rosanna Pansino. And she does something called Nerdy Nummies. And <laughs> I, it was just a fluke. I, I just saw this thing one day and I said, hey, let's go check her out. And she's another young lady and what she does is she cooks these foods or, you know, she's a baker, I guess, pretty much. And she bakes these foods based off of, well, pop culture stuff. And a lot of it is co uh, cartoons. For instance, she did something about Frozen. She's done, um, um, oh my goodness, video game characters and whatever. And it's great stuff seeing how she does all this. And she shows you how to make it right then and there. She'll tell you recipes. Uh, over the last couple of months, she's been joined by her sister, her older sister. And they do these challenges. These are some, you know, things I never heard of. You know, old guy, I never heard of these things. But they take on these challenges. And that's been pretty funny as well. Next, we have Katie Wilson. And she, along with Andrea Black Nerd Comedy, sometimes do these skits together. But she does this thing where basically she, she'll talk about certain video games she likes. She'll talk about certain movies. She actually will portray things. She's done some of the Comic-Con stuff. She's a former Disney kid, so she's got talent. Sometimes she, she talks about uh, uh, being in certain uh, photo shoots. Movie, she's been in some movies and some TV shows. Very talented. A pretty young lady. And uh, the most recent thing is she did this parody video of some song that I think is a Nicki Minaj song. <laughs> it's a shame. I, I don't know any Nicki Minaj songs, but if that's what this is, it's a parody of it called Ugly Sweaters. And it's just the funniest thing, but she can sing. So it works out really well. So that's Katie Wilson. Next, we have someone who I know has been around a good long time. Name is Philip DeFranco. And he just had a son this year, just to throw that out there. But basically, he does news and commentary, his own spin on different stories. 
And I know he's been out there at least two or three years, but this is the first year I've ever actually gotten to watch him. And I appreciate his take on things. Very liberal kind of guy. But he gives, you know, the opportunity for other people to express a different point of view. And I have enjoyed watching it. As a matter of fact, as... 2015 comes up, one of the things I'm going to start backing off of is watching as much news because maybe not necessarily the news is bothering me so much, but it's all the extra stuff that comes after it. I just don't need as much hate in my life. But if I pick up a few things from him, at least I'll know kind of what's going on and I will have a better mindset about things. So Philip DeFranco, uh, you know, talk about a guy who has basically found a way to make a real living off of stuff. They've got a, you know, he's got a full business. He employs a lot of people. They market shirts and they just do a ton of things. They have a site called SourceFed where you can get, you know, more news or entertainment types of things. So it's really kind of cool. Next on my list is a site called Savvy Sexy, Savvy Sexy Social. By a lady, young lady named Amy Schmidt Tower. <laughs> I don't know how you say it. And you know what? You're going to see the name down below. If you can pronounce it better than me, you're a better person than me. Uh, you'd hope I could say it, but I can't. And she's from Ohio. And basically, she is a social media marketing person. And I'm not saying that she actually you know, markets herself, but she helps other companies to market themselves. And she puts out a video, a new video, three times a week. She has um, a podcast. She has, you know, all the other kind of things. And she gives really good information in relatively short pieces. And it's been fascinating. She does a thing every April uh, that she calls VEDA, which is a video every day in April. This year, I didn't do that. But I, what I did on my other channel is I did a video every day in June you know, hey, I got to do my own thing, right? So, but she, you know, if you're looking to learn anything about uh, social media marketing and different things you could do and whatever, you got to check her out. Then we have my personality, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Now, I've known who he is for quite a few years, but this is the first year where I actually started listening or watching a whole lot of his videos, his uh, um um, seminars and presentations and he came to Syracuse and I was in Memphis of all things so I missed that but I got to watch the video of it and I'm telling you this is one very smart guy and it's because of him that I know that we can't actually have zombies thank you for that because I hate zombies <laughs> but this is probably one of the smartest men in the world and you know you take that for what it's worth, but he's just fascinating to listen to. And he did his version of Cosmos this year on on Fox Channel. Well, you know, they got to get something good every once in a while. Yeah, I said it. Um, and it was fascinating as well. So thank you for Neil deGrasse Tyson. He has a podcast series also. And, you know, you can find that online. And he's got another channel that he's hooked up with where sometimes he does some of these, you know, his own little interviews or his own little programs on these channels. And so you can do some of that stuff. So I really had a great time listening to him this year. Then we have a site called Screen Junkies. And what Screen Junkies basically does is it takes movies. Um, well, they talk about movies. Uh, they have a thing where they will call um, their take on uh you know different things like one i watched earlier today was their take on transformers fallen angels or falling something whatever i can't remember the name of it and i went to it uh but you know he has their take on it they'll pull different things out of it and you know most of the time he's beating up on these movies and that's kind of funny actually one of the ones i watched today where he's talking about captain america uh, uh winter soldier he actually finished off the thing by saying hey you know i can't i gotta can't lie this was a good movie <laughs> it was a lot of fun he found some things just to nitpick on but i thought that was interesting and they also do some other things as it regards movies and actors and different stuff like that it was very entertaining things um, it's a good thing that i've seen a lot of the older movies i have to admit there's a lot of the newer movies i haven't seen but it's it's fun to watch either way. And then another thing that's also related to movies is called How It Should Have Ended. And basically, this is their take on uh, a whole lot of movies, and they change them up, how they, you know, really could have ended. For instance, they did Lord of the Rings. 
And basically, if you remember the very last Lord of the Rings movie, after he's after Frodo has thrown the ring in and he's out there on the rock, you know, surrounded by the volcano, and the giant eagle comes with Gandalf on it, and they did their take on it where the giant eagle comes and says, "Wait, you have access to giant eagles? Why couldn't we have just flown here and saved all this time instead of whatever?" Which is a good question, but you have stuff like that. Um, you had a thing with the uh, Harry Potter. Where, if you remember the third movie, Hermione had the time turner. In this particular instance, they have the three kids and they have a snake with the time turner. And he turns it back something like 266,000 times. And he goes back to the time where Dumbledore first met uh, Voldemort or Tom Riddle. And he shoots him in the head. <laughs> and Dumbledore screaming, what's wrong with you? Why'd you do it? He says, I've saved the world. <laughs> I mean, think about it. If you've got time turners, you can go back in the time. Why don't you just go back in the time and take it a shot? I know you're not supposed to mess with time, but, you know, sometimes I think you can make an exception, as long as I still come, but that's okay. And finally, the final one I'm going to mention, this is another lady, uh, not as young as the others, but she's still young. Her name is Marie Forleo. And she does a video a week where she answers questions that people have written her on, on Tuesdays. And some of it is about marketing. Some of it is about business motivation. Uh, and then she'll, every once in a while, do interviews. And interviews are usually longer. And she's interviewed some very fascinating people. Uh, Brendan Bouchard, uh, he wrote The Millionaire Messenger and The Charge, both books I've read. And I've got the new book here, um, the Motivation Manifesto, which I haven't had time to get to yet. She interviewed Ariana Huffington. Uh, she was on Oprah, although I think that may have been a couple years ago. But still, you know, she's fascinating. She's pretty. She's intelligent. She's got a lot of good stuff to share. Usually it's every Tuesday that she does a new video, but she's got tons of videos out there from the last few years. And her channel's been interesting to watch because I went back and watched some of the old videos. And you know what? She started off doing videos basically in her house, sitting in front of a camera like I'm doing, just kind of doing a video, and then was able to progress from there as she started making more money. And now she's got this full studio, and these people dress her in fantastic clothes. But you like seeing something like that, at least from my perspective, being an independent consultant, because you like seeing that someone who started out pretty much like you was able to transition into something much bigger. You know, uh, I'm in a consulting group, and there's nothing bigger than seeing someone who's been able to make that leap and having them come back and talk to us about being where we were and then being bigger. So anyway, those are 15 video channels, personalities that I wanted to mention. Uh, I think that every one of these is different than what I did before. Um, and I've gone into a little bit more depth. Last time I only did five. And there you go. I thank all of you people, all of the folks who put this stuff together and all of the people who gave me hours of entertainment and stuff to do. <laughs> I really appreciate it, and in a weird way, it's encouraged me to keep making videos. Yeah, okay, I'm not as popular. I'm not even close to as popular, but you know, one day it could happen. Who knows, right? So anyway, I'm Mitch Mitchell. My blog is I'm Just Sharing. I hope that you watched the video. I hope you checked all these people out, and I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas because it's the only video I'm doing before Christmas. You take care. Enjoy.